Another point that I use sometimes for the shoulder joint is small yeah, intestine yeah. 10. Uh -huh. And it's just really because you can't, don't have access to the joint like you do on the other side. So I'm just doing a fairly straightforward insertion into I that. think you got it. Yeah, this one is yeah. got a good release and then yeah. got a good And then I'm just going to try tender in there. A little bit. It was uh, the infraspinatus of Terry's minor was tender too. That's Not too bad. A little bit. The problem is yeah, you can't do this one, yourself at home, huh, Eric? Yeah. No, you can't. No. Tend to there. No, it was more lateral. Yeah, that one, that's a good one there. Put it on there. Terry's there, minor, there. right there. That's it. Okay. We're going to do Terry's minor here. I'm still just working on his problems with his uh, cutting list. So this is just a simple trigger pointy kind of thing on Terry's minor. And this is small intestine 10 needled for the joint. So I'm just going a bit deeper. And I can't get that nice you know, penetration through the capsule that I can on the other side. But if you palpate well, you should be able to hit the most tender spot of the joint capsule at the back. There we go. That is just another two. Which points on the back would you be most careful to not puncture the lung when you're needling? Oh, these ones down here. Tina's just asked which points in the back should I be the most careful of there? Puncturing the lung. Puncturing the lung, which I've done twice. Oh, uh, must nice. have been over 30 years, so both with particular uh, cases. But one was a woman that had a very big kyphosis mm. here, and she was in a lot of pain. Um, and we were needling, um, she just had much more curve than I thought. And I just never, I didn't, wasn't even aware when I was doing it there was anything wrong. She just rang up half an hour later and said, I can't breathe. <laughs> so I said, well, go to hospital. Um, which she did and she was, you know, she was fine. She was back home that day. It was around there that you were kneeling? Here. The other person was a mother who had, she just been given birth and she had this baby at home and she couldn't lean forward and pick the baby up. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was a, um, intercostal and I was trying to needle. It was really kind of, dodgy anything. It was a long time ago when I was a little bit more heroic than I am at the moment then. And not only did it not work, mm. but it gave her a pneumothorax. And the side. She, and she came, she got out to the car and then she came back in and said, oh, no, I'm having trouble breathing. So I just took her around to the emergency department around the corner and they were, the guy said, oh, rubbish. She said, this acupuncture couldn't cause a pneumothorax. I said, I think you'll find it. <laughs> and she was in hospital for a day and there was no, no, and both of them, well, no, she, the first person I talked about, I still see her, she still comes, and the other person, she came back until the problem was fixed and it turned out to be, remember I was talking about latissimus dorsi mm -hmm. causing pain down in this area, that's what it was. Mm. So the next time we actually got on to the system dorsi and treated it effectively.